So a lot of you have probably been waiting for Impossible Foods to IPO. Reason being that most people want to have an opportunity to be part of the same journey as early investors had in Beyond Meat when they IPO'd back in 2019. In just a few weeks, early investors could enjoy a ride from $65 to almost $240. Now that's over 250% change. Now the question we ask ourselves, when is this going to happen? And is it possible that they will do this through a SPAC? Well, that is what we're going to talk about now. And welcome to the Plant Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse. Also, just want to add that today I don't have access to my mic or able to use my camera. So I hope you can bear with me. And as always, folks, I would truly appreciate an early thumbs up since it really does help spread this channel. And if you want to keep getting more information regarding companies like Impossible or Beyond Meat or other plant-based companies, make sure to subscribe. Thank you, guys. I truly appreciate you. Now, first of all, what kind of company is this? Well, it's similar to Beyond Meat. They really care about the environment and they're making plant-based meat alternatives. Let's just take a look at their products. So if we take a look at their products here, we can see they have the Impossible Burger, our first product made from plants for people who love ground beef with a delicious taste you know and love. And if we just go in and take a quick look how it, what it mimics, yep, endless possibilities. Uh, some examples here, what it could look like. Yep, it does look yummy. And this is basically what you get. You get the ready-made burgers or the minced meat version here. Then they have the impossible sausage made from plants. Uh, and they give some examples here. Uh, they sell it actually at they sell it at Starbucks as the impossible breakfast sandwich made with their sausage that is made from plants, aged cheddar cheese, and cage-free fried egg on bread. Well, it's definitely not a vegan option, but as we know, like Beyond Meat, they actually don't target the vegan population. And then they have the impossible pork made from plants as well. And here's an interesting video that actually describes it. Uh, but obviously they're looking as Beyond Meat into other markets except the US, right? They're looking into the Asian market and China, which is pork is really large there, as we know. And where can we find their products? Well, you can buy them online, but also they do have quite a lot of stores in the US where they sell them nationwide, Target, Walmart, Kroger, Wegmans, and Safeway. Uh, and we can see them also in Burger King in some places and actually in some other parts of the world. So they're growing quite steadily. They're not as large as Beyond Meat. I would say they're not close to that as of yet, but yeah, they're growing steadily. And one of their mission statements and one of the biggest reasons why they sell these products and create these products is that they really care about the environment. Basically what Beyond Meat talks about, we can see here, small actions, big change. What's the most effective way to reduce your environmental footprint? We'll give you a hint. It starts with your plate. That's right. Adjusting your diet can be better than getting solar panels, driving an electric car, or avoiding plastic straws. That's what we've been talking about before. So, and that's where they come in. They make meat, fish, and dairy products from plants. Well, actually, I don't think they do the fish and the dairy as of yet, but I guess they expect to be doing that soon. So if we take a look at an article here from The Motley Fool, we can see Beyond Meat competitor Impossible Food is readying its IPO, sources say. And they're talking about that if it gets IPO'd, it could have a valuation that takes them about 150% higher from their most recent value. Now, if we take a look at this article and an article from Bloomberg as well, we find out that they expect them to IPO in one way or another within the next 12 months. But we're not getting more information than this because this is tips that we're getting from someone who's anonymous, right? So it's anonymous sources that are claiming this to happen. But it does make sense because the CEO, Pat Brown, has actually been talking about this for a while. Now, the interesting thing here, though, is not only if it's going to IPO, it is in what way it's going to IPO. Is it going to be a traditional IPO, which is an expensive endeavor, as we also talked about on this show many times, or is it going to be 
a new special way of doing it through a SPAC. And for you who don't know it, SPACs are blank check companies that go public, build investor interest, and then merge with a privately held company with the combined entity trading under a new ticker. Now, another interesting aspect to know then is how much will they be valued? Uh, as of late, they've been valued to around $400 billion. Uh, and it's interesting to know then that Beyond Meat at this moment is around $9 billion. Not long ago, it was up around $12 billion, but right now, nine. So they're claiming here that, or the sources then, that Impossible Food is strongly interested in a SPAC IPO because this would likely put its valuation at $10 billion or higher. So if we try to form a conclusion here, well, so we don't know exactly when this IPO is happening, but it does seem that we'll likely see it in the next 12 months. I'm guessing the NASDAQ, same as Beyond Meat and Tattooed Chef. CEO Pat Brown has himself on many occasions stated that if the company really wants to grow larger, they have to sooner or later IPO. This is obviously a much anticipated IPO since a lot of people sees them as one of the larger rivals to Beyond Meat. Yet, this is not how Pat Brown sees it. He has stated previously that he is targeting the animal agriculture industry, not other plant-based companies, since they are on the same mission, right? If you haven't seen my video on this, take a look at the top right corner. Personally, if I would consider investing in Impossible, I would prefer it to be through a SPAC, because it would level the playing field a bit more for us retail investors versus venture capitalists. As we have spoken about before, it is quite often that just before a popular company IPOs, wealthy individuals or investment companies go in and invest a lot of capital pre-IPO, which leads to that the price flies up before the actual IPO, which leads to that you and I get a way overpriced stock right out of the bat. We'll talk more about this in an upcoming video. Whether one believes that this is a rival to Beyond Meat or not, one thing is certain that when larger plant-based companies gets more attention, that is a good sign for all plant-based companies, in my opinion. Larger companies such as Beyond Meat, Impossible Foods, and Oatly, that is also soon going to IPO, contribute to a larger overall awareness regarding plant-based food and living, which will benefit everyone. Now, if you also want more information regarding Oatly and when that might IPO, take a look at this video here. I would really be interested to hear if you folks are interested in investing in Impossible Foods and if you prefer it as a traditional IPO or as a SPAC. Let me know down in the comments. Well, folks, that was it for today. I truly hope you got some value in today's video. And if you did, and if you want to help me out, please feel free to smash that like button. And if you want to keep getting more information regarding Impossible and other plant-based companies out there, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. And as always, this was not financial advice. These are just my own opinions and thoughts. Make sure to always do your own due diligence and invest safe. Folks, hope to see you soon. Peace out.